Today we're going to take a look at how to use kidblog.org to set up blogs for your students. Kidblog is a great blogging resource if you are worried about safety and security, especially um, for elementary students. And if you don't have a blogging platform in your district, I would really recommend um, this one right here. So you can see here when you first get there, you can click to create a class. The setup process took me, you know, just a couple minutes to probably get all of my kids entered. Um, you can set up their usernames, their passwords, so you can make that however you want. I'm going to go ahead, I've already um, signed in here, so let me click on login. And this gets you an idea of what this is going to look like you know, from the teacher perspective. And the students are actually going to see the same thing. So when we come in here, you can see here when you, you have your All Blogs tab, so this will show you any blog postings that have popped up. So you can see there's a welcome one and I put in a test one yesterday. And so if I want to read one of those, I can simply go ahead and click on that, and it's going to pop up here. So then, as the person here, I can go ahead and leave a comment. So this will be comment number one, and we can submit that comment. Great thing is, this can be, um, you can, as the, as the moderator here, I can unapprove something, so if something was not appropriate, I can actually come in and edit. Your students won't have that ability. You do have the ability to set this up where nothing um, shows up until it's approved, and that's just kind of a setting that you have to choose. And so when I come in here, I'm also taking a look at, I'm going to go back to all blogs here. So that brings me back to here are the blogs, you know, that have been going on right now. But on the side, you're going to see this is the blog directory. So I've set up a class of five here. So I could kind of see, go straight to student one and see what kind of blogs he's done. And so this person here has done one blog and they have a comment. And then you can see here I'm on that person's blog. It shows up in the tab. If I go back to my blog, then I'm just going to see only things that I have blogged and comments and um, there is tagging options if you want to tag your post, whether that be by subject area or something like that. So again, when I go to all blogs, then I can see everybody else in the class and students are going to have that same view. They're going to have these tabs at the top and then they're going to be able to see their other classmates' blogs, which is kind of cool. And so when you want to write a new post, you simply click on the new post tab and you would go ahead put your title so this is going to be post for today and then I can go in here and I can add text as you can see I can upload and insert an image a video an audio file or just a file all together and so I can do those things I can have some you know some text features I can adjust you know for bolding italicized and that kind of stuff and I can also set you know what I want to allow comments on this which I think with all blogs you should leave that on there because that's the big part of this is the discussion that goes on. And once your blog is finished, that can be saved as a draft, you can preview it, or if you're ready to go ahead and publish, you can just go ahead and click the publish button. And then that's going to publish that blog for you. There it is, blog post is on there, you're set to go. Now from the teacher perspective, you do have some things that you can take care of in the control panel. Um, this is your dashboard, just kind of showing you at a glimpse you know glance what is happening you can go to new post you can review post you can look at comments if we go into the users here are all the users that we have so if I need to add an user this is how I would go about doing that I click add user I give them a username a password and then I go ahead and add them in and you, you can do a bulk load if you have it as a CSV file in Excel so there are some other settings if we go to the settings tab you can check out the theme the title you know do you, you know what do you want the date to look like we can then go into here like users you know do I want to change the role what they can do in that role comments you know there I can you know who may leave comments on the posts basically I'm saying only people who are you know within this class we're not gonna let all visitors and that's one of the way we keep this locked down a little bit so great little blogging platform hope you check it out kidblog.org